Is that coffee? I can't believe I'm saying this. Drink it. You may want to stand back. All right, here's your tray shot for this morning. I'll flesh this out a little bit more later, but I want to bring it up to you because I think it's very, 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 very crucial and important. John tells us in his epistle, he says, and, and by this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word in him, truly the love of God is matured, is perfected, is aged. Okay, listen, the Sermon on the Mount ends with Jesus saying, whoever hears these words of mine and builds his house upon them, when the flood comes... That's a direct allusion to the coming flood of judgment. Okay, how do you survive the coming flood of judgment in the first century? You build your house upon Christ's commandments, upon his word, not upon the Torah any longer. Okay, the modern evangelical understanding of what it means to keep the law, keep the law, keep the commandments has a pretty broad understanding and, and and I think a lot of people still think this way that keeping the commandments is is an old way of thinking about how to be saved how do you, how does God want you to be saved he gives you his commandments well we all know that we can't keep them so that's why we need Jesus but still the principle is if you do this you will be saved but we can't so we need Christ okay That is not what it means to keep the commandments. Again, I want to reiterate, the Old Testament law, the Torah, is the yellow brick road. That's what it means to keep the commandments. Stay on the yellow brick road. Follow the signs. Follow this path. Stay on this path. You don't earn anything by staying on the path. You're blessed by staying on the path. You're kept safe by staying on the path. But that's what it means to keep, to guard. When God gives us his uh, commandments in the Old Testament, when he gives Israel the commandments in the Old Testament, it is to lead them and guide them. This is what Paul says. The law was a yellow brick road for us. The law was our tutor to lead us to Christ who has appeared at the end of the age in this, uh, what does he say? In this evil day uh, in Galatians, okay? So again, I'm, I'm becoming more and more convinced that the way I'm suggesting we look at 1 John is the way that it needs to be understood. And that is that um, the uh, John is appealing to those who are still on the yellow brick road. They have to cross the threshold. They have to come into fellowship with God. Don't say you know God. We've got the law. John, we have the law. John is saying the law was a tricycle. I'm on a Harley Davidson, yo. 120 miles an hour. You know? Come on. This is living. What you have there is a check. You have a check. You're in the dark. You are not keeping the commandments. If you kept God's commandments, you would move into the future because that's what the Yellow Brick Road was. The Yellow Brick Road is the past. The Emerald City, Kingdom of God in Christ is the future. It's not the doers, yeah, it's not the hearers of the word that are declared justified by God. It is the doers of the word. Well, we we have the word. We have the law. We have the law. I have Christ. I've got this check. God gave me this check. Look at it. It says it says eternal life. No, no, no. No. That check is null and void. See that stamp? You got to look at the watermark. It's null and void. Or cash it in here. If you don't cash it in, it's 
dead. It's dead, okay? Tray shot coming at you. We have to rethink what it means to keep the commandments of God. We today do not keep the commandments of God because we are not Israel. We are able to benefit from understanding how the law paved the way to understand what Christ accomplishes. And we believe that Christ has brought the kingdom and we enter that kingdom by faith and by the Spirit. We have the Spirit. Yes, we do. We have the Spirit. How about you?